It's Bree. We're here at the legendary SOBs with Zip House. We're here with Tame Money. Like, duh. She just shut the show down. I never seen somebody mm -hmm. command the audience the way she did. They knew all the songs. Girls was like falling out in the crowd. So <laughs> tell us how you feel about that. Bro, it can I cuss? Of course. That shit is crazy. Like, uh, I was doing hair like three, four years ago and I was like hating my job in the parking garage, like crying and shit. Like, God, I know I'm special. I know I'm different. And then mm -hmm. this came out of nowhere. And like, I'm so blessed and so grateful. And I love each and every one of them. Not one of them get on my nerves. Mm -hmm. And I stay until the management like, come on, Tay, we gotta leave. We gotta right. go. Right. <laughs> How did you get your start? So I love to freestyle. And mm -hmm. I was always freestyling, always on Mike Jones, because I'm from Texas. Um, mm -hmm. So it was like always Mike Jones, big tuck type beat. Yeah. Um, and they was like, damn, like, you should record some shit. And uh, I would get nervous, like choking, almost mm -hmm. sweating, like, oh shit, not in front of the boys, you know? Right. Um, I made one song, and then people, I made a, I was doing the videographer's hair, mm -hmm. and he asked me how much to do his hair. I said, give me a video. Mm -hmm. And we traded off like that, and so they went. Trade. <laughs> and that it went. It was trade. a good trade. Yeah. And uh, it shit ain't been the same since. Right. So what was the first single? The single, you can't find it nowhere. Oh, you don't take it down. I don't take it down. Oh. Uh, it's called, uh, be quiet. It's called um, <laughs> Lewis and Clark. Mm -hmm. And I was like, he looking for me, Lewis and Clark. Uh, okay. But uh, the next one after that was Na Na, and it's more like melodic. It's mm -hmm. like a, like almost singing rap beat, and everyone knows Na Na. Like yeah. everyone that, from Texas knows Na Na. I love it so much. That's when people started reaching out. Yeah. And I was like, damn, uh, I dropped it. I was at work, and like three record labels hit me. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. And I was like, this is a thing? This, like, this is, <laughs> this is some shit. Like, I could do this? Mm -hmm. and I went home and told my mama, and she's like, you better not quit your job. I'm like, okay. And then once I was able to quit, I was like, Mama, I quit. She's like, you what? Yeah. But we ain't been back since. So I'm right. good. So. so you're pushing forward and the success is right here upon you and you just keep pushing at it. Yes. What's your motivation? My motivation really is just to, this is going to sound bad because I love people, but it's to also shit on them. Like there's some people mm -hmm. that did me wrong in life mm -hmm. and it's really, I started making music because of those people. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, I bet you can't talk to me ever again. They be talking about, you remember me? I'll be like, yeah, I remember that shit you pulled. <laughs> right, yeah, right. You know what I'm so. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's necessary to remind people of what they did. It really it really made me want to be a strong girl for the other girls that don't get treated right. Mm -hmm. and, and I have a lot of them reach out to me and they tell me, uh, you know, like, I'm in this bad relationship or I was and that shit made me feel good because I was there one time. Right. So it made me feel good to know that I can help them feel good about themselves and mm -hmm. I never told anybody that really so for them to already get that out of the music mm -hmm. then it was like my job was done right that was really beautiful and and also the music business is like hard like mm -hmm. no matter what artist you talking about like it could mm -hmm. be Uzi it could be anybody like they go through trials and tribulations that mm -hmm. shit is hard and you want to quit some days and you want to cry some days but like at the same time you got to remember what you have and like what you were given mm -hmm. like how I'm living now like how dare I take it for granted? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I'd be like, damn, like, Tay, you tripping. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what you used to be like? Or like, what you used to have? So, it's just all growth. I'm learning and like, I'm one hell of a woman. And mm -hmm. I can say that, and I don't know cocky shit. I'm one hell of a woman. You should say it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we gonna talk about your features. How mm -hmm. did you feel about those? So, uh, the baby, one hell of a guy. Like, mm -hmm. so nice. And I actually wanted a feature for him before he was the baby that he is now. Right. I, I knew him. He came to South by Southwest in Texas. You know what that is? I do not. It's this music festival um, held in Austin, and they actually just canceled it because of the virus. Oh. Um, okay. But it's a huge thing, and he actually walked around that festival in a diaper. In a diaper. <laughs> you can look up the baby diaper, and he's there. He walked uh -huh. around in a diaper, and I'm like, bro, who is this dude? Like, mm -hmm. why? And the very next year, everybody knew who the baby was. Yeah. Um, I wanted that feature. I secured it before he blew up. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to hold it. But you know, when you have management, they have they have have good ideas, even when you don't want to admit that they have good ideas. Mm -hmm. um, they wanted me to hold it for a little bit. And thank God I did because he turned into a superstar. Right. So I think I'm a superstar. But the fact that he's a superstar is going to make people give me a chance. Right. You know what I'm saying? To be like, if he had the 
you know, courage. It's gonna make them, it. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the baby got on the take money song. Like let me at least let hear her out because they it. already yeah. be like pay money. Like is this for real? Like oh, why do you think that is? Why do you make assumptions? I think it's because I'm white. Mm-hmm. I feel like also because like I'm a girl. They already have female rappers like canceled out. They mm-hmm. just do. They yeah. think they always talk about pussy and da 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 da. But like, my shit is to empower women. Um, mm-hmm. And then YNW Melly, I got in the studio with him, Free Melly. He's incredible. And mm-hmm. I tell you right now, I think he's the best in the world. Yeah. I saw him freestyle, intervene, play cheap geek, two or three songs, get back mm-hmm. in the studio, freestyle, one take. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> like, <laughs> right. he is insane. Mm-hmm. The shit he say, like, there's no way. He be way ahead of the curve at all times. Right. I'm so blessed for them. Uh, Fred Obang, mm-hmm. so good. Who is who? Are you, who are you inspired by? This is rapper out of Texas. His name Big Tuck. Big Tuck. We should yeah. be looking into. You should Big go Tuck. look up Big Tuck. Okay. Uh, classics like um, all Dallas, like mm-hmm. shit. So <laughs> amazing, bro. Like every time I rap, Big Tuck. Mm-hmm. Big okay. Tuck. That's dope. Uh, everything. Uh, some of my work, some of my lines. I take his lines and twist around. People don't mm-hmm. know that. There's a song I got called Tay Money by Tay Money. Mm-hmm. It's actually not a stain on me. People don't know. That's a whole remake. Oh, wow. It's a whole remake of his yeah. song. Mm-hmm. Um, it's insane. And actually, uh, I, I don't know the exact name. I'm wrong for this, but Travis Scott used used him uh, in Astro World. Okay. Had him come back. He's like, it's Freight Train Tuck. Swag School's now in session. I'm the dean of this now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, so, yeah, I can't wait to hear it. That's dope. So do you have any new music or anything that we should be looking forward to or we need to be repeating and replaying? Look, I got lots of new music. Uh, I've upgraded, um, you know, the people in the studio and stuff like that. I'm learning my sound. I'm becoming more mature and figuring out what my sound exactly is. Instead of hearing something on the radio, I want to sound like that. Like, uh-huh. you know, I, I want to sound like uh, like Trey songs. That's what I like. That's like, <laughs> like Mariah Carey. That's like what uh-huh. I listen to. But that's not for me. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like my sound is my sound and I'm figuring it out. Um, I got this song that I believe in. And I promise you, you're going to come back to this interview and be like, she said it. Mm-hmm. It's called Ugh. It's like, Ugh. <laughs> and baby, <laughs> I that, that is it. I have an ear, and that is uh-huh. it. And I don't care who don't believe in it, that's it. So mm-hmm. when Ugh drop, I need you to click on it. Oh, I'm going to click on it. That's yeah. my favorite word. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Like, ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> U-G-C-H? I don't really know how I'm gonna spell it yet, but I see a U G H and then the uh, engineer spelled it U H H. Oh, okay. But you, when you see it, you're gonna, we're gonna know. know what it's it like, is. Ugh. Okay, cool. So we're gonna be looking forward to that. Thank you, Tay Money, for sitting down and Thank talking you with so Zip much. House. And stay tuned. Ugh. Type shit. <laughs> <laughs>